To House Speaker David Ralston says he will stop taking new clients in his law practice after saying he has used a state law to delay court cases. The law allows members of the state legislature who are attorneys to postpone cases if they conflict with legislative duties. Speaker Ralston says he also wants to reevaluate that law. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more from the state capitol tonight. This house will come to order. When he's not presiding over the state House of Representatives, David Ralston is a criminal defense attorney in the North Georgia mountains. In Gilmer County alone, records we found showed Ralston requested 202 postponements for court appearances in the cases of 19 criminal defendants, each time citing a Georgia law allowing him to say his duties in the legislature took precedence. Critics say the delays have created hardships for the alleged victims in the cases. I am an advocate for justice, and uh, I can't imagine what uh, many of these victims probably feel, uh, not seeing justice being served. The cases we saw ranged from assaulting a police officer to child enticement. In the case of Derek Key, charged 10 years ago with enticing a child and furnishing obscene material to a minor, Ralston requested 34 postponements for calendar calls, plea hearings, and jury trials, while Key has been out of jail on bond. A resolution introduced by some members of Ralston's own party accused Ralston of abuse of power, which prevented access to justice for crime victims for five to ten years, in courtroom delays, 81.7 percent of which were granted for dates outside of the legislative session. It encourages Ralston to resign immediately as House Speaker. I asked the Speaker uh, just to um, recuse himself of these cases or resign as Speaker and go take care of this justice for himself. Their concern for the victims in these cases, I believe, is real. Ralston acknowledged the concern, but also told House members he would not resign. But he did say he would appoint a committee to re-examine the legislative leave law and that he would not accept any new clients until four of his higher profile cases concluded, including the Derek Key case. No action I have taken has been illegal, wrong, unethical, or immoral. History has shown that it is next to impossible to dislodge a sitting Georgia House Speaker unless he leaves voluntarily or unless his political party is swept away from power.